Hello, everyone. This is Reza Rad. Uh, thank you for joining us for another interview with Microsoft Fabric product team. And here we are with the one and the only Patrick LeBlanc. Yo, what's up, Reza? Yo, How are you? How are you? Yeah, you don't yeah, need any introduction. You. Everyone knows you. Everyone who works with Power BI knows you. So really appreciate your time being here with us today. Yeah. I'm Thank you. I'm honored. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. So um, we want to talk about some of the updates announcement in the um, in the Fabcon. But right before that, uh, tell us about your uh, current role. What do you do? Because you've been in CAT team before, but now your role has changed a little bit. So tell us about that. Well, well, <laughs> well, Reza, it's changed again. <laughs> 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 my role actually changed again back on okay. the cat team i'm actually going oh, nice. back to the cat team yeah um, in a different capacity though so we're going to focus on i don't know if you saw i'm doing i'm part of the monthly updates so you see me my face there on the monthly updates a lot we're working yes. on making those better um have a new youtube series that's going to be on the fabric channel it's called fabric tech talk fridays we're going to get you on one of those pretty soon uh reza but my, my role is mo more focused on content and building out demonstrations and you know learning the deep tech pieces of the technology so we can go talk about them we can go talk about them at conferences and you know at the booths and meet people and help educate people on all things fabric and power bi yeah yeah that that is amazing and, yeah. and i'm pretty sure everyone loved the presentation you did at the keynote it was mesmerizing oh mesmerizing <laughs> <laughs> I was excited. I wish I could take credit for the entire demo, but it was it was a collective effort of people. The the One Lake Security PMs, Amir Nets, Adam, everybody kind of contributed to of what course. you all saw on screen. So I mean on, on the stage that day. So it was it was so much fun. That five minutes demo took us, I don't know, a couple of weeks <laughs> to kind of fine tune and put together. And then they still said I went off script. I did go off script a little bit once I got on stage, but it was yeah, fun. It was yeah, fun. But, but, but it is going much better when you go off script. A little yeah. bit. <laughs> Good on that. Cool. So yeah. thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about that that demo to start with. Um, yeah. So that, that is a feature we've been looking forward for many time. Like we had yes. relevant security in Power BI for such a long time. Time, but if we wanted to implement it in the entire fabric, we had to implement it in multiple places, right? Oh, man, so man. It was a lot of work. It wasn't efficient because if I wanted to use the role level security I set up in SQL, I had to replicate it in my semantic mm -hmm. model. If I had it, if I had it somewhere else, I had to replicate it in my semantic model. Trying to secure yeah. a lake house and giving people access to a semantic model. Now, now I go into, you know, the one lake security setup. I create my roles, whether it's role level or column level security, and then it just works across all the different workloads. So if I'm connecting with Power BI, you saw I connected with Excel in the demo and it still works, you know? And so it's yeah. nice. And so now people don't have to jump around and worry about consistencies with the security. We have it in one consistent place and all your security in one consistent location. Yeah. Yeah. And this is how it actually should be, right? Yeah. Uh, it minimizes the, <laughs> the efforts and, and the maintenance is much, much easier. Right? Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. It that works. Is, that is amazing. That was yeah. really helpful to, to see and that your demos showed it really well. So what, what are other exciting things that you like to talk about what are like your best favorites because there Resi was tons of updates yeah yeah so you know i uh, i you know i have a passion for power bi i've been with yeah. power bi you know it's right there for a very long time <laughs> and uh, you and i right we we've been yes. working with power bi since probably before power bi was power bi mm. and so what i was really excited about is the ability to create direct lake semantic models in Power BI Desktop. But now I can mingle, I can have objects from different lake houses even in the same semantic model. So I when I when I saw it, and I saw it before, you know, before the keynote or whatever, and I was like, oh man, I wish I was presenting that. Um, that <laughs> is a <laughs> that is amazing feature. And it just I think it unlocks so many possibilities in so many scenarios. So mm -hmm. that's another thing. That was another feature that I just I, I couldn't wait to get my hands on. So yeah, yeah, that is that is really helpful because um, like 
the, the whole Power BI development in web experience is um, enhanced a lot, right? Yes, we can yes. build models in web experience, but it's nothing compared to the desktop. I mean, if I'm building a demo, I, I, I'm building a solution, I build it in desktop. Yes, right? so, yes, yeah. yeah. So having <laughs> I, that capability in the desktop is is a winner, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, it's top notch, top notch. And another another thing, another feature that I was really excited about because I talk to customers. You know, I talk to customers, talk to customers, especially when we go to conferences. So I'm always bumping into people. And they're like, "Hey, we're using Synapse, and we need a quick and easy way to get over the fabric because we want to mm -hmm. try it out. We want to see can fabric, you know, can fabric meet the need that Synapse is meeting." And I think it was Charles Webb. Charles showed us the migration assistant, and what I like mm -hmm. about the migration assistant is low code. It's just a few clicks and then it it, it act, it'll go through and validate the SQL for you. So if there's something wrong, it'll try to fix it. Use some AI behind the scenes to try to fix it. But then it does a redirect for you. So if you were pointing to your Synapse warehouse, let's say I'm using Power BI, it'll actually redirect those connections to your Fabric Data Warehouse. That's, I, I don't know about you, but a migration from one database to another, that's not easy. That is not an easy process. No, that takes never, never a long easy. time to prepare it's, for it's that. It's like a project, multiple people, <laughs> crazy. And the thing is that like when you do a migration, like it's really hard to get buy-in from the senior leadership team in the company. Like we are yes. investing six months time of 10 people, what we are achieving, we are moving it from one place to another. Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's so much work. And there's always something comes up. Oh, something always comes up during the migration. You're like, oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, I didn't think about this. But this helps. This helps. Um, and so hopefully, hopefully we can get some more people using it so we can get some more feedback and just keep fine tuning it, fine tuning it, fine tuning it. Um, and we'll get it out there and you know, we'll get people moved over from Synapse over to Fabric Data Warehouse. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Hope, yeah. And, and, and it is great that you and I are not earning, uh, like, <laughs> earn a living by migrating from one platform to another platform because <laughs> otherwise it would be, <laughs> our job would be obsolete. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. And yeah. uh, there was also one uh, really yeah. interesting thing. Yeah. Something really interesting, and Justina showed this one, and uh, Justina is one of my favorite presenters. I just love watching her, the way she articulates, and she's so meticulous about it. And she um, she talked about materialized views in the lake house, because if you think about, hey, I built this lake house out. I went through all the process and all the things to build out my, my medallion architecture, and I need to add a column. How do I get that column in there, right? It's a process to get that column. But with materialized views, I can create my materialized views, do some light transformations to add some concatenations or whatever I do. And now I can use that materialized view. And it's in direct lake mode, right? It's in direct right. lake mode. So um, I that was another thing. When I saw that, I was like, oh, man, Fabric is it's just like Power BI. Remember when Power BI first came out? It was growing up mm -hmm. and people were like, oh, we need God, this in Power BI, too. right? It was so iterative. But now with all these great features that we were seeing, that's coming to Fabric, it's going to be hard not to, when you're starting a new project, go, we need to take a look at Fabric. When you're starting a new data project, where there's analytics or, you know, tra transactional because of the SQL database in mm -hmm. Fabric, it's going to yeah. be hard not to take a close look at Fabric when you're starting out those new data projects. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The materialized view is definitely a, a really big feature uh, yeah. because we can create views, but as soon as we create views, it's not direct like these days, but with yes. materialized view, it's <laughs> such a big feature. Yeah. And the performance wise also, because it doesn't impact the performance of runtime in Power BI because it does it's not. Process beforehand. That's right. So, so definitely a good thing. And and I also liked what you mentioned about the pace of improvement. Like yes. When I talk with people, some people say, well, Fabric is new. The data warehousing experience is like far from ideal. Uh, and in technology world, everything is far from ideal, especially <laughs> in the early days, right? <laughs> like Power BI wasn't like this 10 years ago. No, no, now it was we not. Have nothing to compare with it, right? <laughs> no, so, nothing. There's nothing to compare with Power BI right now. There used to be this other product that started with a T, but we know what happened. You know, <laughs> we know what happened. We know what Have happened. <laughs> And it's great, right? The visuals, everybody loved the visuals in this product, and it was great. Yeah. And then Power BI just kept, right, the team, they just didn't stop developing. And I'm, I'm yeah. feeling the same pace and the same 
the you know the same course with fabric mm -hmm. so you know yeah. next year and, and oh, even well, these days like after yeah. 10 years we are still seeing improvements on yes. the new yes. added yes. things like yes. that this is, yes. is amazing this is this yeah is definitely it's amazing helpful it's thing. amazing and the same pace is happening with fabrics I'm, I'm pretty sure that this would be like similar to power bi quadrants charts these days that power bi is always at the top right corner yeah. we are now used to it <laughs> oh That's all new. yeah 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 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Yep. That, that's great. Uh, what are the, um, of course, upcoming features that you are looking forward <sighs> to? And you can talk about it, of course, there are, because there are lots of things um, that I'm, you can I'm, get. Sure. Sure. More more enhancements to mirroring, mirroring in mm. in fabric. So, and people don't think about how important mirroring is and mm -hmm. how easy it is just to mirror your data over. So you can do some transformation. So that's really exciting, exciting to me. I'm looking for, I'm looking, I'm looking, uh, some other things that's coming are the, the functions in fabric that yeah. they announce. Right. And so I'm really looking forward to that and what, what we can do with that yeah. when we mingle it with Power BI, we saw a sneak peek of that, I think mm. at Fabcon Europe, I think. And so last year, and so I'm really, really excited about, you know, about that. So there's, it's just endless. It's countless. And I wish I could talk about all the things that I'm really excited mm -hmm. about. Obviously, you know, like I can't, but just all up the things that's come in the fabric. I think people, I don't, I don't think people are ready for the features and capabilities that we're going to be announcing in the next, yeah. for example, we're going to build, we'll be a bill. I'll be a build in a couple of weeks in May. Stay tuned, right? Stay tuned for Microsoft Bill. We just had a ton of announcements at Fabcon in Vegas. Now that was in late March, April. Just you know, barely two months later, we're going to make some big announcements yeah. at Microsoft Bill. That is yeah. great because we have yeah. Bill coming up. We have some other conferences. So tell us where we can uh, see you next yeah. next event. Build, of yeah. course. Build in May. So May, I don't know the dates. I can't. Please don't hold me to the dates. But Microsoft Bill, um, well, I'll be at Microsoft Bill in May, and then in June, DataCon is the first. Mm -hmm. I think it's the first time they have like this data section of this conference yeah. in Seattle. I'll be delivering. Phil C. Mark and I we're delivering a uh, direct late workshop. So if you haven't signed up, still time to sign up. And then some sessions along the day. I'm going to talk about handling big data in Power BI because I love Power BI. And then. Reza, I think you'll be there in September. We're going to go to Vienna, my yeah. very first time in Vienna. I can't wait. Um, we're going to go out to Fabcon in Vienna and talk more fabric, right? Yeah. That so sounds good. And it's those, a music city too. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What can so, go wrong yeah. with it? Yep. That, that, that's amazing. That That's great. Uh, so what we'll do is that we'll put your LinkedIn URL down below, but everyone sure. already knows you. Um, 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 with other PMs, I also talked about the community forum that people yep. go and put their ideas, things like yep. that. Can you share yep. a little bit of lights about how that part works if someone has an idea about the particular if you, part? And people don't realize this. What, uh, people don't realize this, what, Reza, is that when, when Adam and I, we're, we do our live stream on Saturdays and we're in sessions and we talk to people and say, go to ideas, go to ideas and enter your idea there. The PMs pay attention to everything. If you think back to the days of Power BI, you can actually see what they were working on, what was completed and things like that. And so it, it's the same process. And so your ideas help drive what we're gonna build, what the PMs wanna create. They're paying attention to this and they're bubbling those things up so that we can you know, get, get it out, get it out to the community. So we're fostering that relationship between Microsoft and the community. Community is so important to Microsoft. As, as you know, Reza, you're a big part of the community. So, um, and Adam and I, we try to be a big part of the community with Guy and the Cube, so yes. Everything. Yeah, you guys are. You guys do yeah. an amazing job. So, yeah. so yeah. And one of the reasons that Power BI, Fabric, all of these products are great is the feedback we get from you, users of these yes. products. Because yes. you tell the product team that what you are looking for, and they put it in the priority list and take care of it. So, so make sure to go out there and check it out. Amazing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to talk about that we haven't covered? So. If you see Reza and I at a conference, if you see Reza and I at a conference, right, you know, right, if you see us, 
always come up to me and say hi, right? I, I, I try to make myself very approachable. I mean, Reza knows me. Re, Reza and I have been knowing each other a long time. Just come and say hi. Please come and say hi. I like to meet new people. I like to ch chat about Power BI and Fabric and all the things tech. If I don't know the answer, Reza knows the answer or we'll find someone that knows the answer to your question. So that that is something... I. Every time I'm at a conference, I see people point in and stuff like that. I'm like, no, no, no. Just come up and say hi. Right. I'm just a yeah. normal, regular person. And I, I want to meet as many people as I can at a conference. So um, yes, that's that's it. Yeah, Reza. This, this I, is I, really I, important because I feel sometimes the same thing as well. Like people mm, uh, like come to me and say, I know you are busy, you probably get this a lot, but I like people to come to us and talk with us. We we love you guys. Too. Yes to come yes. and chat um, about anything about yes. power bi about uh, the tea you are drinking or whatever so so let's let's come and have a chat yeah. yes like normal yes. people <laughs> yes please yeah like normal awesome. people yes yes yes, yes. <laughs> yep thank you patrick thank you for your time i really appreciate that and, You're welcome and thank you and thanks everyone for watching us and hopefully we'll have Patrick again um, after some time for another interview with some new updates and interesting things to talk about. Yeah. Until the next video. Bye. All right. Thank you all. Thanks, Reza. Bye-bye.